which comes into that debate about is it nature versus nurture. Uh, I tend to be with you on this one. I do think it's, um, I'm going to say nature, because it's what you see, what you're involved around, the influences you're getting. Yes. Uh, social media today is another right, one. Right, right. Big. So it's a big combination, a combination. of factors. I didn't want to dismiss genetics. They say that even 60%, which is a high percentage of contributing factors to the development of eating disorders, might be genetic. But that doesn't mean you had an anorexic mother, so you become anorexic. Exactly. It's not that kind of hereditary down the line, or grandmother to mother to child. You know, it's, there are comorbid, what we call comorbid conditions. For example, obesity, for example, addiction, mm -hmm. for example, anxiety disorders, for example, depression. Mm -hmm. So for example, this is a true story from a patient. My father was an alcoholic. My mother was a cigarette smoker. Food became my drug of choice. So is that inherited addiction or is that environment because she doesn't want to smoke and she doesn't want to drink but she sees all these kids trying to get thin exactly. or overusing food because it's for comfort so food becomes her drug of choice.